Sunrise, welcome back. We're now moving into our second segment for the morning. And this one surrounds Galen University and the launch of two new classes. Now, in to tell us all about these classes, we've got Vince Engel, who is a freelance co uh, content creator and also a designer. We have Nigel Miguel, who is a film commissioner, uh, who is the film commissioner of Belize. And also Deanna Gomez, marketing director for Galen University. Guys, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to be here. Oh, definitely nice to have you guys in. And uh, we've been we've been chit chatting about this uh, for for some time now, uh, in terms of these two new classes uh, from Galen University. And it's very important, especially with respect to what they are. So, Deanna, let's tell us. What is Galen doing this time around again? Oh, yes. Thank you and good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure always to be on OIE and definitely in this capacity to talk about Galen and what we're doing. Galen is always looking for new ways to serve our community mm -hmm. and to be relevant. And this time we're actually really pleased to be able to offer these two master classes. These really are precursors to the launching of our film and media school, which is coming in the next um, fiscal year. So we're our academic year. So we're really happy. So we're offering two master classes. Um, they actually start in the first one starts in April, and we have Vince on. Um, morning, Vince. Um, morning. And Vince is the going to be the master instructor for the first um, um, world of advertising, which is the first class that's up. And it really these are classes that we encourage our media or corporate. Um, offices to send their in-house um, media persons and advertising persons, their marketing people to come and take. These are yeah. going to be wonderful classes. Mm -hmm. They're going to be promising. We know Channel 5 has taken up the opportunity. Yes. So we look forward to you participating. Yeah. But Galen is truly happy to be involved um, in this particular initiative, um, along with the Belize Film Commission and um, Mr. Nigel Miguel. Yeah. And, and I think this is an in, this is a great collaboration, um, especially from the film commission uh, perspective. Working along with the university, professional development in this particular field is one that is very difficult to be able to access locally. Uh, Nigel, tell us about uh, being able to collaborate with the people in the industry you knew, um, and getting uh, the the program tied down with Galen. Well, let me say uh, thank you so much uh, for having us on here and allow allowing us to talk about it. And um, this has been a dream of mine for a long time. And great. what we've been able to do is to leverage relationships that yeah. allow us to tap into uh, the media world abroad and come here and share it uh, with our students, with our young professionals, yeah. and just people in the creative industry here that um, are looking to expand and create better content. Yeah. So your your um, the, the class uh, yours will be uh, film production, and when when is it expected to start? Well, let, let me clarify <laughs> that. Um, I'm sort of overseeing yeah. uh, ah, the partnership. Yeah. Clarity is good. We're actually going to have another industry professional, such just like Mr. Engel, That's come right. on and teach. Uh, that course, which starts in June. Okay. The so, course that Vince is doing starts um, April 17th, I, I, that's right. I think so. Yes, that's April 17th. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and Nigel, just in being able to recruit um, people like Vince and, and the other instructors that you do want to um, have hosting master classes, how, how tough was that sell for this? <laughs> well, <clears throat> In the case of Mr. Engel, he's someone that I've known over the past 30 years. Oh. Uh, what this allows me to do, having this entity or this platform set up, it allows me to share my Rolodex with the people that I feel most closest to, which are the folks from Belize, the people mm -hmm. of Belize. Mm -hmm. Now, I say that to that to say to show that that's the jump off, that's the starting point. Yeah. But what we hope to, to create and develop with this relationship with Galen is that Belize is producing great filmmakers, great media, great content providers, but then we also want to share our expertise after we get it with the world. Yeah. And that's hopefully what we will develop with the Film and Media School um, on the Galen campus. And you, you know, you're so right, because especially during this pandemic, we've seen a lot of stuff coming out of Belize, um, because there are a lot of people with, uh, with time on their hands and they'd like to know more about their equipment. 
They're going out there, they're doing their thing. Now, but at the same time, you might have some folks who are skeptical, Nigel. They'll say, you know what, I would like to learn, but at the same time, I, I don't, I'm not sure as to uh, how I could uh, not necessarily impact the industry, but how I could tap into the industry. Tell us, why is it important, uh, you know, uh, filming, especially here in Belize? Well, part of the thing is that it's our task to create those opportunities. Mm -hmm. And that is what we're doing now. We are starting to see the benefits of the, it's been a long process, yeah. but that foundation is set yeah. and we're starting to see the benefits. Now, the fact that these productions will be coming in and that are coming in, we want them to hire local as much as possible. That's yeah. one of the mandates that the office of the film commission has. If, if we're just creating an industry and nobody locally is actually benefiting, benefiting from it, yeah. from the standpoint of being able to say, you know what, I have a real career in this industry. This is what I do. I don't have anything else. Yeah. This yeah. is what I do. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of my, my, I would like to say my legacy that I am trying to create that we will have an industry that people can look back on and say, yes, it was here. This yeah. is where it started. Yeah. We've seen the growing pains. We've seen where it is now and we're, and we're looking in the future to where it will be. And with a relationship like people with Vince Engel coming here to share his expertise with us. And these two classes yeah. will benefit more than just the average or the person that desires to be a filmmaker. Yeah. Like uh, Melanie was saying, all those other industries and entities can benefit as well because what he has to share yeah. is an amazing amount of uh, information. Well, Vince, you can't get a better introduction than that, <laughs> Red right? Red carpet. Red carpet. So, a little pressure. <laughs> so here you are. You are essentially the season premiere of this film uh, media production unit at Galen. And we have to say that uh, your particular course that you'll be um, the instructor for is the world of advertising. Now, let, let me yes. start off by asking, how much have you uh, researched as to what's currently being offered in Belize? Uh, well, a lot of it has come from, uh, you know, in speaking with uh, not only the university, but uh, with Nigel, especially, who, uh, as he said, we've known each other for probably the last 30 years. Uh, and I've done uh, online research. I have not been to Belize, unfortunately. It's something I'm looking forward to uh, once this uh, crazy uh, pandemic is is uh, settled down. Uh, but it, it's uh, everywhere people advertise. Yeah. And so what this course is going to do, and there's always a need for advertising if you really want to stand out in this uh, world of advertising and film production is uh, we want to introduce uh, pers pr prospective students to, uh, you know, basically how agencies work, what are the different roles and responsibilities within an agency, uh, and what makes good advertising, mm -hmm. and uh, how you can create good ads. And then really for uh, everyone, uh, the power of a brand and uh, how to build a very powerful brand uh and by brand i mean what is your product or your company stand for mm -hmm. uh and i always like to use the example of nike makes athletic apparel and shoes but they really stand for what they're selling is empowerment yep. and the idea of just do it yeah. uh and then we go into uh, the future. What's next in advertising? Where is it yeah. going? Yeah. It's become much more international. And uh, we'll have uh, a number of industry luminaries, uh, you know, who will be lined up to be guest speakers uh, during the course of both uh, the advertising and uh, the film production side. Yeah. Now, we know that... Um there are a lot of people who work in video production, create ads. We don't have so much advertising agencies, but individual production companies. Sure. And it's, it's been very autodidactic. You know, um, people have learned to be able to develop the skills and uh, have been going off instinct. How do you hope to be able to take what already exists and really elevate it to another level? 
Well, I think it's showing uh, people what's possible, yeah. not necessarily what they've done or what they're used to, but what is possible, how to make things better, how to improve things, uh, how to stand out, and how to look beyond uh, just you know Belize or Belize City or, or uh, places like that and, and look for a, a larger market yeah. and uh, you know look for a more international market in your work and your uh, advertising. Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can I say one thing, Melanie? Yes. Sure. Um, before you go. The thing is that the mindset that, that we're creating here, let's say within the film and media industry, it's grassroots right now, um, but it's content created in Belize, yeah. but for the world. Mm -hmm. um, I want everybody to know that there's greatness here in Belize. Yeah. And this is one of the ways that we are showing it. Mm -hmm. So. The idea is to offer the best content. Yes, it's created here, but it's made for the world. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that, that's, that's one of the things that uh, I would like to see us start to preach, yeah. um, regardless of what, what uh, part of the industry or, or whatever industry it is, is. It's because Belize has the capacity to provide great content beyond our borders and that's with everything that we do so if we start our students getting to that point of where that mindset is there it's about being great and it's about believe being great mm -hmm. so that that's a step and when vince talks about branding and, and he's being somewhat modest and i don't know if you know his, his pedigree work. or his history yeah, but, yeah, I noticed okay. he spoke of Nike like he had no involvement. Yeah, he's so modest. <laughs> or ESPN yeah, he or American it. Express. He didn't have anything to do with it. But yeah. yes, <laughs> some of those say the professors or the, 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 the teachers that we will be having in these Galen courses yeah. um, will be second to none. Yeah. Will be second to none. Mm -hmm. it, it, it will be something that um, you will look back or the people will look back on this years to come and say, you know, what? an opportunity, what a, a great thing Galen is offering their students. And that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping that the Belize uh, public takes advantage of it. Yeah. But eventually, we, we will want the region. We will want them to know that Belize is the place where you come to for media and film training. Yep. That's what we're, we're, we're establishing here. Nigel and, and, and Vince, I'll tell you what. We, we've noticed that there are a lot of ideas, indeed, uh, from Belizeans. Yeah. But I think these courses will eventually give us the idea of how to put them together uh, more creatively and in a better way. Mm. Uh, speaking of the courses, mm. what's the duration uh, per course? Per course? Okay. Uh, it's uh, going to be six weeks with mm. two uh, classes per week. Uh, and like I said, it, it starts on the 17th of April, mm -hmm. uh, runs through the 22nd of May. Yeah. Uh, and back to, to that a point you made earlier in the question. Uh, the industry worldwide is always looking for new ideas and new approaches, new ways of thinking. And that's something that Belize will definitely be able to offer. Yeah. And not just, uh, you know, culturally, but, uh, and geographically, but, uh, you know, just different ways of approaching and solving problems that people have uh, that ability. And that's what we're hoping to be able to export uh, to the rest of the world from Belize. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I, I would also say one thing, telling our stories on a global stage is going to be a beautiful thing. And trust me, guys, it's coming. Yeah. Uh, sometime mm -hmm. next month, there's going to be a, a group coming in to do uh, a series of, of commercials that Vince, Vince and I well, I'm producing, but Vince actually wrote wow. um, the script for it. And it's going to highlight Belize and Belizeans, but in this great product. Uh, you probably see some snippets of it on uh, social media right now with Marcus Johnson. Uh, and I have a little cameo in it. But that's just the beginning. Um, next month, uh, we'll have a sizable production here. And it will be all about Belize and this product and how they see Belize and, and um, the agricultural aspect, because wh what I want them to do is start to grow that product, the, 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 the stuff that they put in there, I want them to grow it here in Belize. Yeah. And so those tests are happening right now, and if you come back with a thumbs up, all of that will be incorporated into um, this, this advertising campaign. 
and it will it will put Belize in such a great light on the global scale. I think everybody will be proud of it. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, Definitely. Uh, and you know what? You'll have more people who have been trained by Vince who, who can be able to assist in, in that production and, as and, well. And that's the thing. Yeah. Hopefully that's so. Thing. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we want those, we want our current Belizean uh, industry professionals to really benefit from it. Yeah. We're doing it on a small scale, but I always tell folks, you know, yeah, watch us and, you know, you, 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 you can be critical of us. But when we make these big strides, I want you there patting us on the back as well. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Vince, let me, let me ask a question. So you've never been to Belize. And other than the fact that your good friend Nigel may have, have, have mm -hmm. uh, coaxed you into this position, what, <laughs> what excites you about being able to have this course with yeah. uh, fresh new faces um, from Belize? Well, they, exactly. The fresh new faces and the way they think and the way they solve problems and uh, how they view uh, advertising yeah. uh, in general and then what those possibilities are. We have uh, a project that Nigel and I, it's a bit of a dream project that we want to make happen, uh, and that is to create an agency in Belize that's made up of the students, They're the best students that will be hand selected uh, to do work for various, uh, you know, charities, pro bono work, small businesses in Belize to yeah. export to the rest of the uh, country and the world in yeah. Central America. Uh, it, it's 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 great in, in that there were years ago the advertising industry. Uh, Everyone wanted to film in the Czech Republic because it was cheap. Then they went to South Africa. Then they went to Brazil and Costa Rica. And now there's no reason why Belize can't be the next uh, film center. When you're looking for uh, diversity, you're looking for, uh, you know, obviously beautiful weather, great locations. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. is there. And we hope to develop and make sure that the talent is there to add to it. Wow. Uh, whether it's on the creative side or the film production side. Yeah. It has been a dream of a lot of people in this country uh, to try and make it in the big time, whether being, being it uh, filming or commercials. <clears throat> it has been. But, guys, uh, this is definitely one of those I'm listening to and say, sign me up. <laughs> what can we do? How yeah, can we nice. sign is up? There space? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. there any space? What can we do? There's definitely space, and we want to invite everyone to join anybody can join this once you are interested mm -hmm. in film advertising if you're just out of high school if you're in sixth form if you're already in the workplace please know that you can um, take this class once it is an area that you're interested in and you're working in as well or if it's something new for you we're in a time where we are reskilling retooling this is a perfect and um, professional development opportunity for people who are interested in this area or who want to do something new so you can um send us an email at admissions at galen.edu.bz, mm -hmm. there it is. Or you can call 615-3129. It's not too late. Um, we're still accepting um, applicants. Um, the course is quite affordable. It's $500 for, uh, per course. Mm -hmm. There are two of them. Notice there's the world of advertising followed by film production. Yeah. As Vince and Nigel explained, this is going to be a top notch. Yeah. Um, we encourage you to not lose out on this opportunity. Um, and, and come join us. This really is just the beginning, um, the beginning of something great. Yeah. And Galen is certainly happy to be part of this process and to bring um, along with the Belize Film Commission and our partners, um, Vince and the other um, master instructors, yeah. um, bring to Belize this opportunity. Yeah. So the introductory classes, uh, they include the world of advertising, as, as Vince mentioned what he's going to do, but there's also the film production um, side of it. Nigel, do you want to tell us a bit about the uh, class? It's going to be by Dennis Miner? Correct. Yeah. And Dennis is a production partner uh, with us as well. I, I've met Dennis through Vince, but we will be oh. teaching what I like to call the ABCs of film production. Mm -hmm. And that will take you through, like I said, a six week period. But at the end of that class, we will have some practical um, actions to go with it. I am hoping that um, if we can coordinate it properly, we will actually have a production that these gentlemen uh, 
people in the class can actually come on set and work. So there'll be a little financial gain from that. And then even uh, with the timing with, uh, with Vince's class, we're going to invite the students to come and watch um, ah. the production that will be here in May. Uh, so uh, okay. again, both classes are top shelf uh, information. And uh, this is just the first step in a larger thing. It, 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 this is the first building block to us seeing um, the film and media school take place at Galen. Again, it's, it's been in, in planning for a long time and it's been in my heart and my, in my mind uh, for a long time. And I, I thank Galen for somewhat approaching, approaching me to establish something and then as we work through it uh, with uh, Provost Air and Dr. Katoops, um, things just started to fall in place. And there, there are a couple other things, but um, I, I don't want to talk too much about yeah. what is coming as opposed to what's happening right now. What is, and, and this is real. Yeah. yeah. And so starting this month, Vince is going to be working with a group of Belizeans uh, talking about advertising. And then the next class is going to be Dennis talking about film production. Um, the details, once again, Deanna, you said that people can register. It's $500 a class. And it's being done, you know, I guess if there is a silver lining or a silver thread to the COVID-19 pandemic, it's that we have all embraced doing things online. And yeah. even for those who weren't comfortable teaching or learning from online, it's the way we're moving. This, it is. And so yeah. they well, get, yeah? <laughs> yeah, the thing is Vince is coming to us from Spain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> if only your Spanish yeah. was better. Yours might be better right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and so this has been one of the strong points for Galen that yeah. even during the pandemic, we have not, we have been able to just continue on course because one of our strengths is online and virtual teaching yeah. and learning. And so we're really happy that this fits right in to what we're doing. This particular course will be done via Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, we do have our platform that we work off, the, um, Blackboard Collaborate with Moodle, but um, we were able for this particular course to use Zoom at the um, request of the film commissioner and um, the instructors, and we're fine with that. So it's going to be on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So for people um, who are working during the week, you hopefully you can free up on Saturday mornings, we're hoping. Um, particularly, it's a three-hour session um, each Saturday for six weeks. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So. All right. And, and, so and, and, that final advertising pitch, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here we go. People watching and saying, I want to, I really think I should. Will I be able to find the money? Uh, will I fit in in the class? Maybe I don't know enough. What do you say to them this morning? Uh, well, I, I, I know from personal experience and most of the people I've worked with, the advertising industry is made up of people who kind of stumbled into the industry and yeah. uh, didn't necessarily go to school uh, to learn. Uh, they later found out they loved it and took classes uh, to improve their skills. But for the most part, uh, it's frustrated artists, people who uh, yeah. thought like me, who thought they were going to make a living as an artist and decided I didn't want to starve. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and or writers who have a novel in them somewhere that haven't gotten around to writing it. Uh, and people who are just interested in film and, and talking to people. Mm -hmm. And then people who are interested in the business side of uh, advertising and uh, the thinking that goes into it, uh, not just the creating of the and the executing of, of the ideas, but the, you know, all the other opportunities that exist within the industry. All right. All right. Well, well, now we know, uh, guys, uh, this definitely seemed like a dream come true, especially for you, Nigel. And of course, uh, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't put together the thought in terms of how you feel at this particular point. So, uh, Nigel, final words are yours. I am overwhelmed um, because, like, like you said, this is something that I talked to you about this. I yeah. Talk yeah. To, <laughs> I talked to anybody actually that would really listen to me. Um, so, again, I, I appreciate greatly the opportunity that Galen University is allowing. Um, I mean, they're an institution of higher learning, so this is what they do. Uh, but allowing me to bring this platform to them, it, uh, again, it, 
I think I have so much to offer when I when it comes to relationships. Yeah. And what good does it do me if it only benefits me? Yeah. Um, that's one of the things that I, I, I look at myself in this capacity and all people in public service that you are a servant. And, and if you take that seriously, um, you're to better people's lives. Yeah. Now, people do it differently because they serve in different capacities. But yes. I get the most joy out of seeing somebody actually accomplish that, that little dream that they have. And they actually step out there and, and plant the seed in the ground and then we start to water it. I always tell my wife, I said, sweetie, you know, I know what it's like to actually get a paycheck for your art or for your creativity. I love seeing Belizeans when they get paid from a production and they get that check or that, you know, or that you know, the salary or the cash, it brings me great joy. And, you know, you, you can only experience that. Me telling somebody that isn't the same as when that person actually experiences that. And this is another step in that process. Um, I, I want to say one thing that, um, even though I believe that this course is extremely affordable for the amount of knowledge that you will be getting, we are offering two scholarships um, through um, my film beliefs uh, component, uh, but it's for kids. I, I, I want to emphasize that it, we're looking to give that opportunity to someone that couldn't afford it, maybe doesn't have a job or the yeah. family. So um, there, two places are being held open for that. All right. Well, that's so fantastic. just an F FYI. Yeah. And they, they can actually reach out to, to Galen through mm -hmm. that okay. and that we will decide. But that that's something that that um, I've talked to my guys and stuff. And again, it's All important right. that those that, you know, are creative but might not have the financial backing to, to get it, mm -hmm. they get that opportunity. And uh, again, I would like it to be a young person just because you're feeding into a vessel that has so much area to grow. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, it does sound like a very mm -hmm. exciting time, and we do hope that people take advantage of the opportunity. Thank you so much Thank you. for telling us about this latest project, and we wish you the best of luck. Vince, we hope you make it to Belize soon, and we'll invite you here on set. <laughs> so do I. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> and do All have right. a wonderful day. And uh, we're about to take a break. When we come back, we'll be chit-chatting about homemade, authentic Italian cuisines. We made them right pasta? here. I, I heard pasta. You heard pasta? All right. Italian? Ready? Yes. <laughs> we'll talk about that when we come back.